Those in attendance described the late Kapuo as a political pioneer and a leader of note who only had Namibia's best interest at heart. Kapuo was a unifier who worked together with all Namibian tribes for the sake of harmony. He also played a significant role in uniting the different Herero traditional authorities during a time when they were not getting along. He was a very selfless man. Delivering the keynote address, PDM President McHenry Venani said the late Kapuo was a committed petitioner who in 1947 was among a group of young people who petitioned the United Nations for the decolonization and independence of Namibia. Such was the stature, the charm and charisma of Chief Kapuo that at the fourth coming of to the United Nations, he was petitioning for the independence of his motherland. Large sections of the international delegation accidentally mistook him for one of the new African heads of states. Chief Kapu extensively traveled the world, lobbying and petitioning for the international support and would eventually bring about Namibia's independence with resolution 435. Secretary General of NUDO, Joseph Kawandenge, says if Chief Kapuo were alive today, he would have been appalled by the current state of affairs. Job opportunities for our people must not know colors, must not know tribes. Talking, for example, the issue of the fish rod today. I don't think this is what Clemens Kapuo imagined this country to be one day when it gained its independence. That some people go away with 200 million in your pockets, while the rest of the people have not seen to it. I don't think that is what Chief Clemens Kapuo envisioned for this country. It was proposed that next year's commemoration be held at the spot where he was shot in Katutura. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.